when I'm training, I'm picturing that perfect physique and trying to attain that. Meet the absolute legend, the 64-year-old bodybuilding icon Bob Paris, who arguably had the most aesthetic physique of all time. Bob Paris is the epitome of aesthetic balance and symmetry, and his journey through the competitive bodybuilding circuits left an indelible mark on the sport. When asked about his fitness secrets, he said, have a broad goal of how you want your body to look. That should motivate everything you do in the gym. If you need to bring up one body part to be in balance with the others, give it extra attention. If you want an aesthetic body, a work of sculpture made of flesh, focus on aesthetics first and foremost. Curious to get your hands on some aesthetic fitness tricks from the professional himself? Stay with us as we dive into the details of his five fitness rules, what he eats for breakfast, lunch and dinner, and his weekly workout routine. Bob Paris' 5 Fitness Rules Number 1. Focus on aesthetics Have a broad goal of how you want your body to look. That should motivate everything you do in the gym. If you need to bring up one body part to be in balance with the others, give it extra attention. Work it first in your workout and work it the hardest. If necessary, give it its own workout. When it comes to each body part, analyze what you need to improve like upper chest, lower lats, more triceps than biceps, whatever it is. Then focus your workouts to accomplish those smaller goals in service of the broad goal. If you want an aesthetic body, a work of sculpture made of flesh, focus on aesthetics first and foremost. Number 2. Prioritize upper chest What really makes pecs stand out is the upper region. If you have too much lower pecs and not enough upper pecs, your chest looks droopy. So I focus mostly on the upper part with incline presses and incline flies, four sets of each, and I do them first. Then I'll end my chest routine with flat dumbbell presses and dumbbell pullovers for three sets each. So it's mostly about the upper pecs, and I like to end with dumbbell pullovers for high reps, 15 to 20, to work my serratus and tie the pecs and lats together. Number three, feel every ab rep. Don't try to beat your abdominals into submission with 100 rep sets. As with all your muscles, feeling the contraction is most important. On the other hand, doing sets of 6-8 to eight reps for ab training isn't practical because of the anatomy involved. The reps are very short, so it's all about maintaining tension. My goal is to feel each and every one of my reps. For that, 15-25 to 25 reps works best. My ab training approach is relatively simple. There are only a couple of basic functions you need to address to develop the area, and everything spins off from there. I like crunches, lying, decline, and twisting, and leg raises, seated and hanging. Number 4. Alter your rep range I don't have an ideal rep range. I'll go as low as 6 and as high as 25. I tend to stick with the 10 to 12 range, but there will almost always be some reps in the 6-8 to eight range on at least one exercise per workout, and there may be some reps in the 15-20 to 20 range on another exercise in the workout. The 20-25 to 25 range I keep for abs or calves. Changing up the reps keeps me motivated with different goals. More weight with lower reps or more reps with less weight, and it's another way of varying the stress on my muscles. Number 5. Make off days active rest days. It's a rare day when I don't do cardio. I generally do it every day for 20 to 30 minutes, stationary bike or step meal, typically at the end of my workout. I even do it on my off day, which I call an active rest day. I prefer that to off day. I don't want to have a day when I'm off my goals when I do nothing and eat junk. There's no off for my goals. They're always on. I'm still working towards my goals on my active rest days, still doing cardio, still eating right, and doing things like stretching and massage to aid workout recovery, he says. What Bob Paris eats for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Eat your vegetables. You probably haven't heard that phrase since you were a kid. Well, I hate to say this, but now that you're an adult, it applies more than ever. Fibrous vegetables serve as the mortar that holds the bricks of your nutrition together. While protein and complex starchy carbohydrates are the mainstays of a healthy diet, vegetables are the dietary stabilizers. They stabilize your insulin release and therefore your blood sugar. 
they are also essential in the digestion, assimilation and elimination process that all food goes through, he says. Breakfast. Bob prefers a heavy breakfast to start off his day. He likes to have 5 ounces ground beef or steak, 5 ounces lima beans or chickpeas, 4 ounces rice sided with 3 ounces of spinach. Midday snack. The handsome bodybuilder has a heavy snacking session a few hours later with one whole egg and seven egg whites mixed with four ounces of oatmeal and four ounces of non-fat milk. Lunch Bob's lunch usually is five ounces of turkey or chicken breast with five ounces of roasted corn or potato. With these, he likes to mix up five ounces green peas or string beans with five ounces Brussels sprouts, spinach or broccoli to make a salad. Evening snack Paris gets himself another evening snack after a few hours where he likes to have 5 ounces of scallops with 5 ounces of steak along with 5 ounces of sweet potato. He likes to add a salad of broccoli, zucchini or eggplant as well. Dinner Finally, he ends the days with an early dinner having 4 ounces of cod with 10 ounces baked potato, one whole egg and loads of asparagus. Bob Paris's Workout Routine Day 1. Chest, shoulders, triceps, abs and cardio. Bob Paris has his thing straight for chest training. Day 1 incorporates the following exercises. Incline bench presses, 4 sets, 6 to 8 reps. Incline flies, 4 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Flat dumbbell presses, 3 sets, 6 to 8 reps. Across bench pullovers, 3 sets, 15 to 20 reps. Dumbbell side raises, 4 sets, 10 to 12 reps. Barbell presses, 4 sets, 6 to 8 reps. Bench dips, 4 sets, 15 to 20 reps. Two dumbbell kickbacks, 3 sets, 10 to 12 reps. Hanging leg raises, 3 sets, 15 to 20 reps, tri-set. Crunches, 3 sets, 15 to 20 reps, tri-set. Cardio, 20 to 30 minutes, bike or stair stepper. Day 2. Legs, calves, cardio. Leg extensions, 4 sets, 15 to 20 reps. Front squats, 4 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Lunges, 4 sets, 10 to 12 reps each leg. Lying leg curls, 4 to 5 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Stiff leg deadlifts, 4 to 5 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Standing calf raises, 3 to 4 sets, 20 to 25 reps. Seated calf raises, 3 to 4 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Tibia raises, 3 to 4 sets, 20 to 15 reps. Cardio. 20 to 30 minutes. Day 3. Back Biceps Forearms. Day 3 is dedicated to the following exercises. Wide grip pull downs, 4 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Close grip pull downs, 4 sets, 8 to 10 reps. One dumbbell rows, 4 sets, 10 to 12 reps. Half deadlift shrugs, 3 sets, 8 to 10 reps. Hyper extensions, 3 sets, 20 to 25 reps. Incline dumbbell curls, 4 sets, 10 to 12 reps. Barbell curls, 3 to 4 sets, 8 to 10 reps. One arm pulley curls, 3 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Pulley compound wrist curls, 3 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Day 4. Active rest day. Bob calls day 4 as the active rest day because he just rests from the gym. The bodybuilder doesn't sit down any day of the week and is on the run during his gym week as well. He explains it like this. It's a rare day when I don't do cardio. I generally do it every day for 20 to 30 minutes, stationary bike or step mill, typically at the end of my workout. I even do it on my off day, which I call an active rest day. I prefer that to off day. Day 5. Chest, Shoulders, Triceps, Abs, Cardio The fifth day of the week is dedicated to the following exercises to strengthen these muscle groups. Bench press, 4 sets, 6 to 8 reps. Incline dumbbell presses, 4 sets, 8 to 10 reps. Cable crossovers, 3 sets, 15 to 20 reps. Across bench pullovers, 3 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Dumbbell presses, 4 sets, 6 to 8 reps. Bent over side raises, 4 sets, 10 to 12 reps. Rope pushdowns, 4 sets, 6 to 8 reps. Overhead pulley extensions, 4 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Hanging leg raises, 3 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Crunches, 3 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Cardio, 20 to 30 minutes. Day 6, 
Legs Carbs Cardio. Day 6 is officially Legs Day. You make sure to do these exercises. Hack squats, 4 sets, 12 to 15 reps. 45 degree leg presses, 3 sets, 15 to 20 reps. Leg extension, 4 sets, 15 to 20 reps. Standing leg curls, 4 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Lying leg curls, 4 sets, 10 to 12 reps. Leg press calf raises, 4 sets, 20 to 25 reps. Seated calf raises, 3 sets, 10 to 12 reps. Tibia raises, 3 sets, 15 to 20 reps. Cardio, 20 to 30 minutes. Day 7, back biceps forearms. He ends the workout week with these exercises. Wide rear pull downs, 5 sets, 15 to 20 reps. Low pulley rows, 4 sets, 6 to 8 reps. T-bar rows, 4 sets, 8 to 10 reps. Dumbbell shrugs, 4 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Hyper extensions, 4 sets, 20 to 25 reps. Concentration curls, 4 to 5 sets, 10 to 15 reps. Barbell preacher curls, 4 sets, 6 to 8 reps. Zotman curls, 4 sets, 12 to 15 reps. Barbell wrist curls, 4 sets, 15 to 20 reps. If you found this information helpful, we have fantastic news for you. We're thrilled to announce that our requested ebook, 8 Minute Fitness at 50 Plus, is now here. This comprehensive fitness guide is specially curated for individuals over the age of 50 who are committed to leading a healthy and active lifestyle. Click the link in the description to grab your copy now and let's start this incredible fitness journey together.